outside by the pool. I've been very, I've been very like straightforward, very, very broad. Very, I don't like giving detail. I don't like talking too much about it. I just want to kind of like say what needs to get done. Like, yeah, right? Yeah. And how are you feeling right now? Okay. We're good. Wait, is he being lifted off of our shoulders? <laughs> So, you think gonna tell this video that there's been some changes in my personal life and I really want to talk about it. First of all, What's going on guys, it's your main man Jay with Pump Priority. What's the date today? It is, oh crap, uh, Friday the 13th. Wow. Um, January 2017. I was looking at uh, one of Christian's most recent vlogs, okay? You guys probably, just based on the title, know where this video is going. But uh, Christian put out a video um, and then the, he entitled it, Meet My Girlfriend, or something along those lines. So knowing Christian, I mean, I watch his videos on a regular basis, right? So he's someone who people think is a, uh, what do you call it, a clickbaiter? So his titles and then his thumbnails, they're put in such a way that you just want to click on the video. And sometimes the, the thumbnails and the, the, the title don't really line up with what you initially thought the video would be about. Mind you, in his defense, the videos that he puts out are usually great quality. Excellent quality, actually. So, I mean, to me, to be honest with you, I'm not bothered by clickbait titles, simply because the content that he produces is absolutely great, in my opinion. Some of you may think otherwise. But anyways, it, just, it turns out, let me get to the point, guys. It turns out that, okay, actually before I even start there, Due to the fact that um, he has really provocative um, and sometimes controversial uh, uh, titles, I usually, before I even watch the video, I go to the comment section, read the comments to get an idea of what the video is going to be about. I kind of spoil it for myself. So it turns out this video actually, he wasn't actually trying to clickbait. When he said, meet my new girlfriend, it was literally us meeting his new girlfriend. This came as a surprise to many people. Um, and he, he had a lot of negative, nasty comments in his, uh, in his comment section. Clearly, because I mean, the internet is a place filled with trolls and haters and all that. Um, I'll actually put some comments on the screen that I've seen on his videos. Um, Heidi's videos, Heidi's his new girlfriend, she also goes by Buff Bunny. Um, they apparently have known each other for three years. And uh, here's, here's the clincher right here, the plot thickens. Um, Heidi was actually ex-best friends with Nikki Blackketter, all right? Nikki Blackketter, Christian's ex-girlfriend, long-standing ex-girlfriend. Uh, they had a pretty nasty breakup. Um, so there's drama, there, there are people who disagree with that move. 
Um, and they're very verbal about it, they're very vocal about it, and they don't really censor or filter what, they're, what, they, what they think. Um, so Christian and Heidi, they both made videos asking people to, you know, just support them, right? They're understanding that, you know, this is a very shifty situation. So they're asking that people watching just kind of understand and kind of support them. Um, a lot of the viewers think that they've been hiding this from them. Um, they think that they haven't been honest. And you know what? It, some of these people, some of these followers, they, they have a sense of entitlement. This is the thing with being successful um, in social media, being successful in, uh, on YouTube where you're a YouTube vlogger, your life is pretty much out there for everybody. It's very hard to be transparent as a vlogger and then hide like a romantic relationship that you have. Um, and a lot of these times these, these YouTubers, they're, they try to reiterate in their videos, they say, you know what, I'm a human too, you know? Just try to understand that. Try to be uh, reasonable in, in your comments and try to be understanding to the fact that I'm a human too. We have our issues, we have our relationships, and it's not easy always putting everything out on the front line. And you know what, guys? Being a small time YouTuber like myself, I could only imagine, you know, having what? Like, how many subscribers does Christian have? 700,000 or 600,000 now? Subscribers. And each of those people have their opinions that are they're able to freely. Um, verbalize and type down and you have to go through these and then you're getting judged, 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 judged. Now, if, if the truth be told here, a lot of these people that are leaving these hateful comments, if their life was put out in the way that this guy's life is and Heidi's life, it's, it's not always nice being on the other side, but I digress. My take on the situation, guys, yeah, the, the timing of the relationship was a little shifty. And it's not for me to judge, it's not for any of us to judge at all. But I do wish him the best. Um, it's funny, some of the comments uh, on social media uh, is like, well, Christian definitely has a type. <laughs> and I think just by looking at the track record, you can see what that type is. But um, a lot of people are, you know, Kind of tossing the relationship to the side saying oh it's gonna end real soon it's gonna end in, in a year no one should wish that on anybody hopefully they are a match and that uh, hopefully this is a successful relationship um but yeah that's that's pretty much my take guys i i hope i wish them the best um they're human beings humans make mistakes humans do shady stuff i've done shady stuff um, I'm sure you've done shady stuff. So, I mean, I guess when you comment and when you try to, you know, give your opinion, yes, it's freedom of speech and yes, it's public and everyone can do it. But my suggestion, guys, is just to, you know, try to be a little understanding. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting paid by anybody to say any of this stuff. I'm just saying it just as a decent human being, right? Um, it's not easy to put everything upfront and personal. A lot of people are saying, oh man, they lied to us, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? They're not entitled. <laughs> You're not entitled to learn anything about their public life. What they put out there as a vlogger is really truly up to them. So I commend both of them for being honest. Um, what I do not commend them for is if they try to marginalize um, the, the, um, the context of the relationship. Um, it's as if she's trying to justify her relationship with Christian and downplay her relationship with Nikki that she had in the past. So I think that was a little shifty. There's a rule, and that rule is, you know what, do not date your your friend's ex. That's just the, that's, guys, that is the unspoken rule. Do not date your ex-friend's ex. Like, that is grimy. I don't care what circle you're in, right? And that's a lot of, that's where a lot of the criticism is coming from. Um, the mere fact that she was friends with Nikki, Nikki dated Christian and now she's dating Christian. So that's shady guys. Like I will never co-sign that ever. All I'm asking is that, you know, people just show them common decency. Um, you know what, time will always tell. If they're gonna be successful, God willing they are successful, um, then that's what it is. If they break up, you know what, 
we've gone through breakups, everyone goes through breakups, it is what it is. Christian, I wish you guys the best. Nikki, you're a beautiful girl. I'm sure success and love is on the way. Just keep on doing your thing. Much love, guys. If you guys like this video, please like. If you guys want to see some more videos, not exactly like this. I mean, I've been trying, I've been, you know, just because I do spend a lot of time watching Christian's videos, I just wanted to put kind of a reaction. And, you know, uh, seeing a lot of the comments and stuff, I just wanted to speak out a little bit. So if you do want to see videos, workout related, um, vlogs and stuff, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Uh, it's at pump underscore priority. Give us a follow. We'll follow you back. Um, much love to you guys. Oh, yes. And information on our giveaway is coming soon all right this is for a fitbit alta um, it's teal in color small band and it comes with a rose old or sorry old rose colored uh, band as well for more dressy occasions okay so uh, i'll tell you right now in order to be eligible you want to be subscribed to our youtube channel here um and then also subscribe to our pump priority channel on instagram all right guys so it is a small band um Guys, if you have a small wrist, it may work for you, but if you have a sister, girlfriend, mom, I'm sure you guys have those things, um, or even just a friend who is a female and you want to use it as a gift, maybe the birthday's coming up, feel free to join in this giveaway, all right? Much love to you guys. Keep your priorities straight. I'm out.